today I wanted to bring you a review on one of my favorite drugstore hair care products ever. Um, as you know, recently I got my hair completely chopped. They cut off six inches and it was all dead, so like it was a good thing, but I miss my long hair so much. But since this recent haircut, I have been very, very proactive about keeping my hair strong and healthy, um, making sure that I use, you know, sprays before I heat style it, um, you know, not, I used to, this is really bad, I used to like twist it up and like, just like wrap the tail around and then be like, oh, my hair is in a bun, like that's all I need to do. That is miserable for your hair and it killed my ends. So I have been very proactive about using the products that I already love as along with introducing new ones to help my hair grow stronger and longer, quicker and faster and stay beautiful. Um, and recently, even before I got my hair cut, I've been using this, but I've continued to use it with my new haircut, and this makes my hair amazing. And it is probably my new favorite drugstore hair care product, so I did want to introduce it to you. This is the Triple Moisture Deep Recovery Hair Mask. It's a concentrated weekly treatment for soft, lustrous hair, and it's from Neutrogena Professional. This seriously makes my hair feel so much better than any other treatment from the drugstore that I've used. Um, Aussie used to be my favorite. Aussie is like a silicone-based purple deep hair repair mask. I've done a review on it ages ago that I'll have to link you to. Everything will be linked to the bottom tab along with a special message. So if you want to find out what the special message is, you should go find it it's pretty magical. Um, and if you can decode it, then you're just like the most awesome person in this entire planet. Okay, or many other planets, because they did some study recently and found out that um, there were like 12, like how many like Earth suitable planets in our galaxy alone. Are we really alone? I don't know, I don't know. Don't ask me, I haven't been there. But along to this review, um, I used to be obsessed with the Aussie one. I still love that, but I actually think this is better. Um, the Aussie one is full of silicones, and it did kind of leave a little bit of something on my hair, which was great to like condition it, but it was actually making me break out like on my back and where my hair touched my skin because those are chemicals that are getting into your body. This specifically has not done that to me personally. Um, the ingredients here, it says, well, directions after shampooing, it's just like a regular mask. You, after shampoo, you use it instead of your conditioner, you leave it in for five to ten minutes, you wash it out. You can also wash it out with cold water to make it more, um, to make it work better and to help seal your cuticle and your hair, to make your hair softer and stronger and smoother and better and prettier and nicer. Yeah. But some of the ingredients it contains that makes it work so well is olive oil, which penetrates to the center, uh, mead, med, uh, wom, Meadow foam seed, which helps moisturize in the middle. I don't know what that is, but I'm definitely going to look into it. And then sweep almond oil, which kind of makes the surface look lustrous and beautiful. So it's called triple moisture because it just heats the very inside of the hair, the middle of the cuticle, and then the outside of the hair as well. Um, it also smells good. It doesn't smell like a butt. So many products smell like butts. It's like it doesn't really have a smell unless you smell for it, and it's pleasant. Um, the way that the way that this works for me, I don't always use it in my scalp. Oh, it's a deer. I was like, what is running up in my yard? I was like, is that a neighbor's dog? That is too big to be my cat. It was a deer. His antlers were chilling. Hi, Snapchat. ADD moment. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I don't use it on my scalp because I find that it makes my scalp a little bit too oily. Um, but I use it everywhere else in my hair. I leave it in. You can even leave it in before you get in the shower. Um, I find that that helps really well because then you get in the shower, you have it in a shower cap, the steam kind of warms it up, and then you can rinse it out with cold water, and your hair looks amazing. Um, but it really does make my hair look and feel better than any other mask. It's very conditioning. It also makes my hair smooth. I have curly hair, so naturally my hair doesn't want to be smooth. It doesn't want to let my fingers run through it. This makes my hair very, very, very smooth. Would I recommend this for someone with straight hair? If your straight hair is dead or damaged or if you do a lot of heat processing to it, then yes. Um, I found that this actually protects my hair more when it does come to heat processing if I leave a little bit in. Um, I don't know if it's meant to do that, I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but I do and it really helps me when I do heat process my hair. So if you have straight hair that's really damaged or colored hair, definitely would recommend this. If you have like gorgeous natural straight hair that's like naturally beautiful and you do nothing to it, you can use this, but it probably won't do much for you because your hair is already perfect anyways. Um, if you have any amount of curl or wave in your hair, you pretty much need this. Um, it's great because it also keeps the structure of your hair. It doesn't weigh it down. A lot of um, hair masks and things like that can kind of, when you're done, weigh them down a little bit. The Aussie one does that, which is kind of why I liked it, but kind of why I didn't. This one does not weigh you down at all. It's like air, magic, 
hair protector. I don't know. It's just amazing and it's absolutely one of my favorites. Um, so if you are curly, I would definitely recommend it to you. It would definitely help with any frizziness or dryness that you have. Um, this is literally my hair with, I used shampoo and conditioner, I used this. Um, I let it air dry, I combed it out, so it is a bit poofy right now, but I literally combed it out. I do this thing where I kind of twist my hair and let it dry like that, and that's what gives me a little bit more of a wave as opposed to a tight -like ringlet curl. So I did that, I combed it out, and then I just took a straightener right up here on the tops to kind of smooth down the top. Um, and then just kind of flipped it out and was like, ah, oh, hair. But this is literally, it makes my hair so shiny and so beautiful. So yeah, I'm obsessed with this. I hope that you guys, I hope that you guys found this review helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. I'll link everything in the bottom tab and then if there's a question that you have that is a really good question, I'll even push that question in the bottom tab and then put the answer in there as well so that other people can see it too. So I love you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you've tried this, tell me if you love it or if you hate it. And yeah, I cannot wait to talk to all of you guys tomorrow in the next video. Love you guys.